all right yo guys what's going on as you can clearly see here we are in meld studios and there's a few reasons two reasons okay so we just made the video on the update where they put out version 9 right and version 9 basically added a multi canvas option so you're going to be able to have a full screen canvas and a horizontal i mean horizontal and a vertical canvas and you're going to be able to stream from both of them simultaneously so you're going to be able to send your vertical to youtube and you're gonna be able to send your horizontal to twitch and you could send your horizontal to kick you could send your vertical to TikTok if you have a stream key and basically that was going to be a game changer because there was no plugins to add things like atom vertical and that was one of the things on my checklist of hey i would love to stream for meld but i don't have this 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 and this well as each up update comes out they're like, oh, well, now you have this. Now you have this, and now you have this, and you're missing this one little thing. So, of course, I made a comment and post and said, basically, hey, look, if what you guys are hinting at is that there's going to be docs in this next update, I said, if you guys add docs in your next update, I'll switch my streams from OBS Studios to Meld Studios. And lo and behold, let's take a look at this. As you can see right here, you get this little tiny chat window. And if you click that, you now have a fully integrated chat doc that's built right into this. So like no plugins, it's not even, it's a doc, right? But you don't have to like go in and like find your docs and like select which docs you want. You just click that little chat bubble and it's already here. It's already working. And according to the video that they posted earlier, you can have this chat window pop up with any platform that's currently integrated into Meld Studio. So right now it's YouTube and Twitch. Supposedly they're working on adding other platforms so that when you're streaming on Kick and TikTok and stuff like that, that the, the chat will just show up here like it does for like Restream or like the way it does when you use like the, uh, what is it, the Stream Ninja that gives you like a multi-chat. Well... I also brought that up in my last video and said that it would be really cool if they added a multi-chat like that. And I said, well, they probably can't because supposedly when multi-streaming first started becoming popular and Twitch was allowing their, you know, their affiliates to do part, you know, to do uh, multi-streaming, they were just like, the only thing is you can't have all your chats combined. And I was like, what the heck? What does that have to do with anything? Why can't I see all my chats now? I guess it's fine now because Mel was like, yo, we can integrate it. So if they text you and send you a message, boom, here it is. Both of them, YouTube and Twitch currently. And I was like, man. All right. So I think so far, all the main things that I was complaining about, well, not even complaining about, just things that I had mentioned of like, hey, if I had this, this and that, I could stream from OBS and now I could stream from Meld. Um, but I was just saying OBS has these X, Y, and Z features and I don't have them. So I don't really want to switch over to it yet. And I think that chat doc was the last thing on my list of things that I needed. Now I have like little tiny things that's just being like bougie, but there's like little tiny things, which is now why I can't switch over from filming my YouTube videos on meld studio so we're one step at a time here right we're switching over we can run our twitch streams now we can stream to youtube in horizontal or vertical whichever you choose you can just literally click a button and it changes it from vertical to horizontal and then when you send it out boom there it is now i'm also curious i wonder if you can add two youtube stream keys and send one vertical one horizontal i don't know if anybody's doing that but i'm curious if you could um but yeah so the only two things now that I haven't had answered, which will probably come in the next update as everything else is just working itself out is uh, some way to do a zoom because I use the OBS zoom to mouse when I'm doing my YouTube videos on almost every video to zoom in on stuff as I'm talking about it. Um, since there's no scripts and plugins and stuff like that in here, I haven't found a way to get zoom to mouse to work because obviously it's, I'm pretty sure it's made specifically for OBS studios. Um, and the other thing, which is probably more important to me than zoom to mouse is 
I can't record my vertical and horizontal scenes at the same time. There's only one record output and I'm obviously there's, I'm sure there's a reason for that. But right now, right now, since we're filming a YouTube video about meld studios, we're recording our vertical because it looks super crispy off meld studios. We're recording our vertical scenes, but we're, right now capturing the full screen of meld studios on obs so that's what you're seeing here so you're seeing this full screen of meld but you're seeing the vertical which is actually over there i'm right here and that's what i'm recording for the vertical format so yes it is super helpful to be able to record from your vertical um, but right now i have a full cam screen on meld studios and i can't record it but again Again, take it with a grain of salt. This is a streaming platform. It's mainly designed around making streaming easier and they are 100% succeeding and just kind of coming out of nowhere and just taking over the streaming game. Because let's be honest, if you're starting out streaming, don't even look at stream elements. Don't even look at OBS. Don't even look at, just go right to the meld because if you're just starting out one of two things one it's super easy to set up two you don't know any better so there's not going to be this bougie side of you that makes you feel like you need other things like myself right so like obs zoomed mouse you're gonna be like well i don't even know what that is why would i need that exactly because if you're just streaming to twitch and you're streaming to kick and youtube you don't need that you don't need that script so don't worry about that right so it's like if you're brand new you're starting out streaming you want to get set up it's super easy with super high quality and like a lot of features that like people on obs studios have been streaming for like five years and still don't have masks and and drop shadows and nice fading transitions because you have to set it all up manually and if you don't know how to do that you're either paying somebody to do it or you just don't have it so meld's like yo it's pretty easy just click this button right here and it's gonna do exactly what you want now just like yeah i've been liking it since the start i really have i haven't had a bad thing to say about it other than man i really wish i could use it and i think that yeah, we're where we need to be this is it this is gonna be it i'm gonna run my stream from here do a couple test streams see how it turns out if you guys want to be there for it let me know I'll be sure to post it on my socials and let you guys know when we're going to go live for our first stream on this channel. We haven't streamed yet on this new channel. So it's going to be a thing where I want it to be like a nice big grand reopening stream and get a bunch of people in there, talk about it, show you some features of Meld, show you some of the stuff we got going on, talk about what the channel is going to be about, why we rebranded, pretty much everything you need to know, get to know me, get to know you guys and basically just make it a pretty awesome night so if you guys are interested in that drop a comment below and let me know say yo when is this stream gonna drop and i'll be sure to let you guys know and i'm gonna dive into meld and set up my stream and maybe i'll do a follow-up video i'll come back with another video and show you what my finalized stream setup looks like with all of my scenes and sources well sorry layers all my scenes and layers set up correctly and see if I come up with anything else that I could think of that might be helpful other than I know I caught you there you were about to get out of this video but then I just thought of something one thing one thing that caught my attention when I was setting this up just to record this video I'm gonna go back into here well actually I'm not sure this is gonna work let me try something so if I go into scene one as you can see, I set this up because I noticed that when I switch to scene one and when I switch to scene, it, it has to have the same layers. You can't keep like, like, all right, for instance, let me explain this. So if I'm set up, right, say I'm streaming, say I'm live on Twitch and I have my scene in vertical set up like this. I want that to stay the same the entire time because I pre I pre-positioned my camera and I pre-positioned my screen to capture what I really, usually the center of the screen, right? If I'm playing a shooter, I want the, sh the shooter in the center of the screen so that you can actually see what's going on. Obviously it's a limited field of view, but again, it gets the job done. You're going to crop that in any way if you were just taking a VOD and doing that. So it's, it's what you would see if you were cropping it yourself. I want to keep that set up 
no matter what scene I'm in. But now that I'm saying it out loud, I guess it really doesn't matter as long as the scene that I want to capture is, let's say, scene, right? So I have seen, obviously, I haven't set any of this up, right? This is just me testing it, checking things out. So I'm not going to leave these names scene one, two, scene. That's not obviously going to work and it's going to be super unorganized. But I guess now that I'm saying it out loud, if I have it on scene and that's where I want my vertical set up, I don't necessarily need to set up a vertical for scene one because I'm only going to be capturing, let's say my gameplay on scene, right? So I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a gameplay scene, which will have a vertical scene captured that relates specifically to the gameplay scene. So now I kind of think, I kind of think I talked a little too soon now because in my head, making the scenes switch and not stay the same didn't make sense to me when I saw them move because like, man, that's a lot of work. I got to copy all of my layers over to each scene that I do. And then I thought about it then truthfully, if I'm capturing a horizontal from my stream, it's usually going to be a funny gameplay moment, a cool clip or something just funny that's in chat. So I'll probably be on my main display game scene anyway. It's like, if I'm just chatting, right? Let's say just chatting a scene too. I don't need a, vertical for just chatting because the camera wouldn't fit that well i don't know i don't know i think i spoke too soon but anyway let's say like this is scene right so this is where we're at we add a layer let's put our video device in right so the video device usb so like if oh control z is going to be your best friend that's going to undo that stuff for you right there so like if we wanted this to be like a full scene chat like i mean i guess that's fine right so like we could do a just chatting scene here and then we could do um all right so we found another another little tip here right so do you see right now my screen is outlined in purple and as you see over here on the layer side my box is outlined in purple you see that right so look purple purple okay we got that covered now you're probably like well where's your layers for your horizontal scene there's nothing there so if you click on horizontal you now see that the fit logo shows up here, which can tell you right now there's no re uh, reference that of what scene you're on. It looks like I'm still selected on my purple uh, horizontal scene, but I'm not in theory. I'm actually, I don't actually know why it's not changing, but let me try and add a scene real quick here. Uh, okay, so see, I don't know what's going on with that actually, because you're supposed to be able to click over here I was doing this yesterday and it was working. Maybe it's because I don't have anything set up. Let me try this again because it should go away. Um, yeah, so something's not working right here. Uh, we might have to cut this. <laughs> we might have to cut this out of the video. So um, anyway, I did this in the video that I was just looking at the multi canvas. When you click over here, you know what? Let me go back to this. It does change. This does this does select this, but this USB video is supposed to go away, and then I should be able to set up my layer. So let's go back to scene one, right? So scene one, if I click on this, it's not doing it anymore. It's only staying on vertical. I think I'm I may have messed something up. All right, see it's blue. You saw that it was blue for a second, right? When you click on that and it's blue, these should show up in blue. Um. Oh, wait, what did you see that? I don't know what I did, but this is now working. I don't, we we're probably doing something wrong because I haven't really messed with this too much, but all right. So see, it's blue right now. Sorry for all that. That was a whole lot of waste of time. See this blue right now. When you go over here, this is blue. This is going to let you know that you are currently editing what's blue. Now, if I go over and hover over this, it's purple. If I click on it, what see i this was working this was working i had this working um whereas if you clicked on this uh, yeah um it, it was working but either way you're supposed to be able to click on this layer and this fit thing's going to show up, which makes you know that you're selected on the right thing. And then you're 
layers for this. Obviously, this worked because I set this up to record this specifically. Um, but yeah, you can see these are purple. These are blue. So your your sources, sorry, your layers would show up over here purple. Your layers for this one would show up blue so that you could tell which ones you were on. Um, why that isn't currently working, I don't know. We could probably close this out. I probably messed it up by clicking on it a hundred times. So um, yours should be working just fine because mine was working just fine before I started this. Also, I had problems when I opened up OBS Studios and meld at the same time. My camera froze over here and then my camera disappeared off OBS. So uh, now I have it set up to where I'm just streaming my camera on meld on OBS Studios. I'm not actually recording video on both. I'm just recording the window of meld so you can see me in meld. Um, but yeah, so uh, I don't know where I was going with this, but uh, dang it. Well, <laughs> uh yeah so either way uh we're gonna switch our streams to meld studios and we're still gonna use obs studios to record our youtube videos um for things like this where i need to record a vertical and a horizontal at the same time and not have to worry about like cropping and masking and doing that kind of stuff so now this entire video that i just recorded is going to be in vertical and it's also going to be in horizontal so i don't need to really edit anything other than just cutting these vertical clips uh to the segments that i want and i can just post it and from the test that i did last thing from the test that i did this vertical thing records so nice like it looks so nice so obviously you're going to see it so let me know what you think sorry that that went so far i might even just like cut all this out i don't know but yeah if this video was too long and you think like yo you should have stopped this video like here let me know drop a comment below and be like yo dude you should have dropped this video at like eight minutes what the 17 minutes are you kidding me oh my god but yeah so if you made this long i mean i hope you subbed because I don't know what else you're doing with your life if you're not subbed to this channel. But anyway, uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. And stay tuned for more Meld updates and also our first stream for this channel that we're going to be using Meld Studios and setting everything up. As well as a video showing all of our stuff set up for Meld Studios. And I'll go through all of my different scenes and my organization and show you all the transitions. And it's going to be great. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Well, I did feel the absolute need to correct myself. So I think it has to do with the fact that I'm recording. I stopped that recording and I was able to switch between my uh, layers perfectly fine. So when I clicked on the purple side, it went to purple. When I clicked on the blue side, it went to blue, just like that. See, that is exactly how it's supposed to work and it is working fine. I don't think I was running into any problems. I think it was just because I had two different things of recording and I was running a recording here for the vertical. And I think that it, maybe it just doesn't work a hundred percent when it's recording. But as you can see right now, I am recording. When I click on this side of my vertical, you will see that it shows up here, are my two sources for vertical. And then when I come over here, you'll see that I have my one source recording my full screen in blue, which matches my horizontal. So that's it. That's all I want to do. I know, I know this video just is never ending, but it's over now, I promise. I promise. It's working fine, I guess. All right. Just hopefully you guys watched this far and see this so that you don't think that I think that nothing's working properly. But all right, I'm going to leave.